I have no doubt that if this was a process that was to be judged with impartiality or based on evidence, Dilma Rousseff would already have been acquitted a long time ago. The accusations are fragile, the evidence is non-existent, and each day that goes by this is under a spotlight. What's happening here is an attempt to find a pretext to try and remove from office a president that has been democratically elected. It's a coup, a parliamentary coup. There's no doubt about it. When Brazilians look back uh, at this chapter in their history, how do you think they will remember it? I believe this period will be remembered with shame, the same way we feel ashamed of our military dictatorship in 1964. Back then, there were tanks on the streets for the coup. This coup has no tanks on the streets, nor weapons. Instead, they are tearing up the constitution under a false legitimacy. In reality, what they wanted to make look like a serious process is falling apart. So I believe history will register if this process does end with her removal as a sad period in Brazilian history in which truth was murdered by treason, hypocrisy and by a profound authoritarianism. And you're in touch with uh, the suspended president. How is Dilma Rousseff doing at the moment? How is she feeling? She is a person who has suffered a lot. During the military dictatorship, she was arrested, tortured. She has this strength and determination I've never seen in anyone else in my life. So she's doing fine because she is a warrior who is fighting for a just cause.